you all know which every activities we want to start which gives a profitable and a positive result to the human being and the society for the better facilities to them uh, every project has a start and also has a uh, ending the project starting and ending time should be limit for that and that will uh, gives us uh, that uh, the project in a short in a limit time give the profits to us project structures before we go for the project planning there are few structures of the project planning which we will uh, we have to know about that that what we should first plan for the project and in that are some uh, steps that we should follow uh, the following steps which are like OBS, EBS, resources, WBS and so on are the steps which we have to follow during the planning of or scheduling of the project. The OBS is the organizational breakdown structure. In this uh, our structure of the organization is uh, should be planned and sh uh, uh, scheduled for the different kind of activities which we are going to do and it is also the hierarchical breakdown of the management after that the second step is the EPS enterprise project structures like a company have uh, lots of projects so the company is arranging and making the plans for different kinds of the projects is calling enterprise project structures the third step is the resources, setting up the resources. We have two, three types of the resources, like the main power resources, like uh, the machineries, the materials. We will be assigning those all resources according to the activities and according to the scheduled time of the project. The fourth one is the WBS work breakdown structure. In this, we will be uh, giving uh, arrangement to the activities like what will we first we will be starting before of this uh, building project uh, for the construction of a building we have a first site cleaning and after that layout of the uh, map of the project on the site so after that excavations, the foundation, the bar bendings, the shutterings, the form work of the structure. These are on those WBS or work breakdown structures which step by step we will be going. Some of the activities will be uh, like start to finish or start to start and finish to start. Like some of the activities when you finish it, then you can start the other activities. Like after site cleaning you can start uh, excavations and after excavations you can start your uh, uh, foundations in bar bendings and shutterings and after that is the setup of the calendars the setup of calendar is uh, uh, about your uh, activities that at what time which activity you have to do and uh, the calendar is one of the important which helps in scheduling and uh, scheduling of the project planning, planning or and management. Uh, after that is uh, we have uh, two types of the data for the project, for the construction projects. One is the enterprise data, another one is the project data. In the project data, we have like WBS, the activities, the baseline, the risk, the issues, and documents. The WBS, as I explained before is the all activities the baselines is uh, and the, another one is the activities what which work at which time and at, at the responsible uh, responsibility of whom should be done that activities the enterprise data is the eps you're making the hierarchy of your projects from which what is the source from which source from where you have got the projects what type of projects do you have and what is the progress of that. The OBS is also the organization breakdown structure. In this you can analyze and give a management to your organization to different activities and projects. Then the resources, as I have explained, then the rules, 
there are some rules you have to assign to the projects. According to that rules, you will be doing your activities and uh, you will be in, in progressing your project. The research codes, the project codes, every project before of starting that have a codes. When we are starting a project, there must be allocations, uh, purpose of the project, and uh, from where it has started, and from which uh, organization it has uh, funded. Then the user defined fields, the currencies, the financial period, uh, at which currency you will be doing the dealing, the activities, and the financial period, what, till what time you have the financial period for the specific project. Then some of the issues, the topics, the risk categories are those, what kind of risk you will be having. You are predicting those risks during the year or months or weeks that in future what proje your project will have what kind of risks and uh, problems. The EPS is nothing without uh, arrangement of your projects. As I have explained before, this in uh, the hierarchical structure that identifies the company-wide projects and enable organization and management of those projects by means of subdivisions or levels. You have a lots of projects. Your company has a lots of projects. Some of projects are from rural rehabilitation ministry, defense ministry, um, education ministry. So you want to just bring it that uh, in a management. At what time you should do your, uh, which project you should complete, at what time and at what progress. The top uh, uh, level of the EPS is your road and then the nodes. And then after nodes, you have a connection of the projects. What, which project, uh, which node you have. The WBS as a WBS structure uh, uh, is the work breakdown structure. Every task and project has an indication that reflects its location in the project's hierarchy work breakdown. We have site cleaning, then we have excavations. After that excavations, we have uh, again site arrangement and then we are starting the layouts of the map on the site. For WBS we can make 50 levels. In Primavera we, are, we can make 50 levels of uh, WBS or big down structures. Uh, here are some abbreviations according to the project that what is uh, your project progress progress at the field of uh, uh, your last your cost variance your earn uh, variance management earn value management like what is the earn value management what kind of uh, earn value management we have there are three basic elements of the earn value management according to the the budgeted for the project or the budget which has given to your projects, you are arranging your loss and profits. The plan value cost, the earned value cost, the budget cost. The plan which has planned for the projects, the earned which has uh, used for the projects. The plan value is approved by the value of the work to be completed in a given period of time. And the earned value is the value of work performed expressed in the terms of approved, budgeted, assigned to that work for any activities. Then the scheduling variance is uh, your uh, scheduling your project according to the time period that uh, where is your progress of your activities? Are you at lost? Are you behind of your schedule? Are you ahead of your schedule? This will give us the uh, understanding and correcting of our activities, where we are now, at which uh, position is our project. That well cost performance is uh, also uh, what, what is the actual cost which you have spent on the activities. Your project uh, has a plan values and plan budget and plan cost. 
but what is actually spending your on activities what is what is actually your project uh, expenses is what uh, is also that uh, you will be understanding about your project cost and project uh, performance schedule variance budgeted cost work performed minus budgeted cost work schedule is the thing which you will be understanding the schedule variance if the schedule variance was positive so that means you are in a good position your project is going to be in profit if the schedule variance was in minus or negative so that means you are in loss uh, i have some uh, i have a schedule one project which will be showing us the schedule variance cost variance and plan value cost uh, cost of the projects Just a minute. So uh, you see, you looked at uh, how does uh, basically one project looks like in an organization, where it falls, what hierarchy, and uh, what importance that project has. And uh, he has also talked to you. that once you have scheduled your progress you are starting working what are the various techniques of appraisals kaha hai where are we kya kar rahe hain kitna kaam ho gaya kitne piche hain kitne aage hain kitna cost variance aa gaya kya ye project sahi chal raha hai to management is every time very worried uh, about all these schedules and uh, the control mechanism project control review mechanism comes out of the data which you collect either through any project uh, management software or even you know if you do manually you also try to get where are we so that those are the control mechanism uh, which of course uh, there are two chapters still left uh, which we need to do them as a half days once you have scheduled the project what are the uh, kind of implementations and control mechanism and uh, these these uh, two issues yet to work out however it is the same that you try to work out variances and uh, based on that जो मैनेजर को डांट पड़ती है फ्रॉम योर ओनर्स और स्टेक होल्डर्स दे ओनली से कहा हो तुम ये देखो क्या हो रहा है तुम्हारी साइड पे तो यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग बैक एंड सी वाई सच ए थिंग इज हैपनिंग दिस इज द वे अ प्रोजेक्ट इज कंट्रोल्ड एंड द मैनेजर्स get rewards or uh, punishments right very good so now go ahead uh, with the uh, uh, primary scheduling yeah okay thank you uh, here is the project has been scheduled from september 3 till uh, now till 21st of uh, october so in this our uh, activity uh, is being done some activities has a cost variance some activities has a Uh, to be valued, budgeted completion, and estimated to be completed. As here you are seeing, the project cost, which shows the actual, uh, the actual total cost. means which uh, we have spent on the activities it is not the plan cost which we have planned uh, and here the project expenses cards how much expenses has been done here and the project labors that how much has been yet given to whom at which activities and to which labor it has been given
At this side, we have a project total costs and the variance uh, of the cost and variance of the project materials, cost variance and cost values, land values cost and variance of the completion. This which we have uh, scheduled this project is showing like cost variance index as the schedule progress index that what is as it here shows it the minus the negative it means we are behind our power schedule and our progress and we are in loss the earned value is this much the plan value was this much if you minus from earned value and plan value if it was positive so it means you are below the budgeted cost or the budget of your project. If it was minus, so that means you are above of your budget. Here is the cost, details of the cost, the dates and defaults. We want to know about the cost, what, where is the actual expenses and where, what is the or actual materials cost. We want to know and what is the actual this period which we are now at the projects. In this we, we can understand much about our projects that where we are, like uh, completion uh, notable like and total of uh, completion time, variance of the project, BL is the building, building which we have just given a name to that, variance of the project cost. After that we are coming to uh, the dates, actual which, uh, the, what is the actual date to be finished for the project and uh, durations, the actual duration of the projects we want to know. These are those options which we are adding to the project and scheduling form and then it shows in yellow form. Uh, in the earned value, it gives us the account variance that how much is the our uh, activities variance from the account which we have planned before of the project or the plan value, actual cost of the project or so the activities, the, ex the cost performance. Uh, here is the schedule performance, schedule variance. Schedule variance in activities. It is the schedule variance index labor that uh, how much is uh, the index of our uh, labors and schedule variance is this much. Schedule variance. What is schedule? Schedule variance here shows the uh, the cost variance that uh, according to the scheduling of the projects which we have scheduled, uh, how much is uh, we are ahead or behind of the, the costs. It, it doesn't give that uh, we are, um, uh, I mean, it, it uh, like uh, we are minusing schedule variance from the schedule which is the performance index. 
then it will give the performance like index is 9.84 how much is the difference between our uh, schedule cost for the projects and the spended cost of the activities or the project the cost performance index is the actual cost here are some things which we first know about the uh, index the schedule progress index in the schedule progress index uh, is the budgeted cost work performed divided the actual work performed the budgeted cost work perform is uh, how much is your budget i mean you have spent on your performance or on your activities divide that on your actual work performance which you have to do then you will be getting the schedule perform index that what is your schedule uh, schedule at uh, that uh, at your performance the schedule variance is uh, this much of the values and this is the your actual cost you minus this from each other actual cost from the schedule variance you will see the difference if it gives the uh, negative sign it means that you are in loss uh, the sign of that value which is giving you is showing you are lost of that much of your money or amount of your money of the project in the scheduling performance indexes it also shows that how much you behind of your uh, exact or plan uh, scheduled or time of your projects if uh, now we are 5.51 is our cost performance and this we are this much is uh, we are behind of ahead of our schedule but uh, as a, this is baseline baseline of building one means the exact date of the project was starting from november but we have started from 3rd of september it is not uh, equal with the, our actual plan or schedule of the project uh, as uh, because day by day you have to update the activities of the project that where you are where is your project like here we have sub structures super structures every activities you have to update day by day and then you will be getting your schedule variance your cost variance and your uh, actual cost and your spend it expenses upon the activities so in this uh, uh, it is not much more it's just a brief technical uh, presentation if you want to know about these all things then you have to start Uh, about the project management uh, application because here are lots of things as this company has made for lots of uh, projects so it means that there are lots of options and uh, items that uh, we, every options has a, a vast uh, declaration and uh, information about the project management so it was all about today that i have explained and thanks from you your attention Okay, I think you did a wonderful job uh, on uh, scheduling multi projects in an corporation or an organization, and uh, how does the management looks at uh, various variances, and uh, do they think that there can be questions on variances even in your, uh, you know, mid term, because uh, we have really looked at variances. and that is used for performance analysis so do remember some of these concepts thank you very much uh, i think raghav has a, also has got uh, some kind of an live experience as what goes in construction uh, activities of a building so he will share his thoughts please come in raghav ji right, thank you